all right y'all it's me again you know who it is dnc um i wanted to check in with y'all real quick have a quick spur of the moment about um the difference between um being inspired and being driven being inspired means that you get a notion you are thinking about it you want to move you you feel like you can move um but it's not until you feel driven to actually get it done. So all of us need to feel inspired and driven to get things moving. And, and where this comes from, I'm going, I'm going somewhere with this. So I finished my draft. My, my third manuscript is done. And I've been editing and editing and editing. I am inspired to edit this completely through. And while I'm doing that, I'm working on my query letter. I've got to update that this is a different type of feel and a vibe you're in right now. Start from scratch. Read up. See what's a good query letter to send out. And I'm like, okay, let me keep going because I'm inspired to get picked up this year. When I say this year, this being October, I mean before December 31st. Don't ask me why. It's just a feeling. It's a feeling. Sometimes you just got to move with that feeling. But I kept being, kept saying I'm so inspired. I'm so inspired. And I realized I may be inspired, but I'm not really moving. I'm waiting. I'm biding my time by thinking I need to edit my whole manuscript. So you know what I've been doing all day? Is I've been trapped, I've trapped myself in my study and I'm doing nothing but working a query letter. I copyrighted my piece and now I'm getting ready to start researching what are some editors, what are some publishers, what are some literary agents that I wanna send my, my piece to. And it literally became so easy for me to grasp once I realized you don't have to edit the whole piece to query sweetie you need your first three chapters and if they want more you get them more but you worry about your first three chapters and focus on moving forward and let me I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show y'all my study right now because y'all don't think I'm playing food but I've been in here since I want to say like 10 10 30 at the latest so let me let me show y'all like what my study looks like right now using my computer because guess what? I just got done breaking. You know what break means? Taking a nap. I reheated the little bit of my coffee that I had earlier. You see that? That's it. That's like my, my second coffee. I reheated that and I'm straight up trapping myself in here. This is, this is, this is what I'm doing right now on my break. I'm getting inspired so that I can get my butt up and start researching now. I'm getting inspired by watching Hip Hop Evolution. Because I don't know if y'all have ever learned about hip hop and how I got started and how MCs got to where they are. It's a beautiful story because it takes a lot of passion. And what I'm understanding is much like someone like myself who's a self-published author who has all this against her that people feel like are obstacles. Me being a mother, me being a wife, me working full time. Things that all those obstacles could prevent me from doing what I'm going to do and that's not true. I'm going to keep pushing. And I want to encourage you to keep pushing too. Don't just be inspired. Be driven. Get up and move because you can do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. There's always someone out there who thought they couldn't until they did it. You know what I'm saying? So that's my quick spare of the moment. Yeah, this is fresh face and all. Don't get it twisted. I still, you know, I still can slay. That's why I'm married. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Get inspired. Uh, and let this really push you to be your greatest self whether that's a writer whether that is a mommy whether that is a professional whether that's you going after the business you want to be the business woman or man you want to be go do it don't do it let things inspire you and then go go drive your way there get driven folks that's it all right bye